America is mourning a broadcasting legend. Radio and TV icon Larry King has passed away at the age of 87. Throughout his decades-long career, the former CNN host interviewed countless famous faces, including Fox Nation's own Nancy Grace. Nancy Grace is our special guest tonight. That's not unusual to hear on Larry King Live because she's been with us so many times. We thought we'd spend tonight learning about who Nancy Grace is. Where'd you grow up? Larry, I grew up in Macon, Georgia. You always want to be a lawyer? No. As a matter of fact, I wanted to be an English teacher. And Nancy Grace joins us now. Nancy, thanks for being with us today. Uh, you knew Larry. You guest hosted for Larry. So share your thoughts with us uh, about him, what you knew about him, what you loved about him, and all that. Well, that clip you just played, Jedediah, um, was very dear to my heart. That was the first time I had ever spoken publicly about my fiancé's murder. And Larry got me to do that. Um, and all the years I prosecuted it, I never mentioned it. And uh, I, I just remembered that moment of sitting across from him. You know what? I owe Larry so much. I mean, who would have ever thunk that a girl that grew up on a red dirt road in middle Georgia could ever meet Larry King, much less be on with him, much less actually sit in his chair? It was an incredible Honor. And I'd like to also point out something a lot of people may not know. He was the same Larry on and off the screen. When uh, he would go meet all of his pals at his favorite diner and sandwich shop in L.A., and I went there with him and met them and sat down with them, he was the same guy to them, everybody that walked in the door. And I thought it spoke volumes that his friends were not Hollywood types or celebrities, which they could have been because he was so famous. They were his friends from way back when in Brooklyn, that friendships that had lasted years and years and years. And that meant a lot to me, that he could speak to ordinary people like me just like he could to presidents and Marlon Brando and Elizabeth Taylor and, of course, the biggies, Kermit and Miss Piggy. Yeah. You know, Nancy, you mentioned that you were interviewed by him and you opened up to him about something deeply, deeply personal. What do you think it was about his style that inspired people that he interviewed to open up, be themselves and talk about stuff that with him that they may not talk about with other people? You know, he would sit about two or three feet from you. Just, just as small as this little table right here. It wasn't always a big table, like they show wide shots on TV to make the studios look really big. It wasn't like that. He sat right there and looked right in your eyes. He was touchable. You could reach out and touch him. And he never looked away. He didn't primp and preen in front of the camera. It was not about him. He really wanted to hear what the other person said. In fact, he said, I never learned anything when I was talking. And he may have directed that at me because our styles were very different. I would always get very excitable and aggressive when I'd be talking about a criminal case. And he hated people to interrupt. And so uh, Larry, in a nice way, I might add, would lecture me many, many times about interrupting. And I tried, tried to control myself with Larry. Oh, I love that. Uh, you are set to pay tribute to Larry King in a new special. It's going to air tomorrow on Fox Nation. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we are bringing in people that worked with him for years and years and years. Uh, one of my longtime friends was his researcher, and she knew just how to put together research for him, what he would want. She really got into the mind of Larry King and helped him create the wonderful stories that he told, how he changed the landscaping of TV talk. You know, there have been a lot of uh, pretenders, a lot of imposters. There's only one Larry King, and there will only ever be one Larry King. And the fact that he helped me launch my career meant the world to me. When I moved to New York, I knew nobody. I went to go launch a program with Johnny Cochran, Cochran and Grace. And Larry basically plucked me out of obscurity and uh, helped me make a career. And I owe him big time. Not a bad word will ever come well, from we... my lips about Larry King. Well, we love that you're here with us today and you've been able to share your experiences uh, working with him. Um, we're definitely going to check out that Fox Nation special that's going to air Thank to rem you. remember tomorrow. Everyone should check that out on Larry King, along with Nancy's latest episodes of Crime Stories. Nancy Grace, thank you, as always. We love, we love you being here.